Hey, Dion, wondering the, the way that you, your role has been in games as that you know, secondary creator coming off the bench, uh, getting routine minutes, playing with Caruso and Kuz, how is that compared to what you thought it might have been? And uh, what do you think has led to the success that you've been having so far? Uh, I mean, honestly, I didn't know. You know, um, only thing I could do is just be ready. And uh, just, you know, whenever my number get called, just be ready. You know, uh, honestly, I didn't know how it would go. You know, a couple guys went down. Uh, you know, like Rondo. Yes, sir. <laughs> and, uh, you know, like Avery opting not, not to come back. So it kind of like opened up for me a little bit. And, uh, you know, in a situation like that, you just try to take full advantage of it to, like, you know, Rondo get back and things like that. You like playing with Caruso and Coos? Yeah, absolutely. AC, you know, he, he, he's always out there. He's talking. He put you in the right spots. Uh, Coos been aggressive. Uh, me just being aggressive, just trying to continue to keep that tempo up, um, make sure we go out there and we do the right stuff. Uh, most importantly, just have fun and just play the right way. And, um, you know, everything else, you know, will come. You know, it's only my sixth game of the year. So, for me personally, it's just about having fun, just, you know, enjoying, you know, every moment, being in the moment, and, you know, staying in that moment. And, uh, you know, that's all I can do. Hey, Dion, it, uh, it seems like on the court, uh, obviously a lot of potential with what you bring to the table and some of the things that the Lakers need. H how is it off the court, just out of curiosity, just your personality, how it jives with some of the other players? Uh, how is that all working out? Uh, it's good. You know, you're still going to know one another as far as the, just on the court, guys, spots, and things like that. Uh, me, just still trying to be aggressive, um, just be who I am, attack, uh, make plays for myself and others. Uh, you know, I know my rhythm going to come. I know my, my shot going to fall eventually. But uh, if I'm doing the little things right now and just really trying to just get that rhythm and gain momentum going into the playoff, I'll be fine. You know, I'm not worrying about my shot. I know, you know, my shot going to fall eventually and uh, just continue to keep working. But I'm doing all the little things, getting to the basket, uh, creating, um, you know, just the little things. Hey, Dion, it's Dave McGrenneman. Um, this is, I think, you're on your fourth team now and um, second team that you've joined <coughs> mid-season. What's it been like to just to pick up the terminology, the schemes, the plays, and uh, what are they doing? Um, is there an assistant coach that's working with you more more often to I try mean, to get up to you? You know, at the end of the day, it's basketball, so it's pretty much all the same stuff, just different names. That's, you know, just getting used to that, just the, the, the cause of the plays and things like that. But... You know, it's basketball. Everybody pretty much run the same sets, uh, you know, just different names. But that's it. But I've been with Phil, you know, in Cleveland. Uh, so, you know, that pretty much was easy for me. Uh, I've been working with Phil since then. Uh, but, you know, all the other uh, coaches, assistant coaches, you know, talk to them, J. Kidd, you know, uh, Q, a lot of those guys. So, you know, I pick their brains, uh, ask them what they see out there, you know, how can I improve? you know, different situations like that. Allie? Kyle Goon? Dion, um, I think it, your offensive game translates pretty easily. Um, for this team, what's the biggest uh, gap you're trying to close in terms of defense and, and trying to make sure you're coordinated with everyone else on that end? Um, like every day, it's a, you know, it's a day-by-day -day process. Uh, like I said, it's only my sixth game of the year, you know, so it's, it's about just continue to get better each day, step by step, not trying to get it all back in one day. So uh, that's the biggest thing for me, honestly. Just defense, you know, just playing hard, being in the right spots at the right time. You know, you're going to make mistakes. I'm going to make mistakes, of course, because, you know, some things is new. But uh, if you play hard, if you play hard, coaches don't mind. And, uh, Do you mind me asking maybe something that's new or is there something that came up in, in the game? Nah, you know, it's just sometimes you could you could be late to spots, you know. It's it's different schemes. And uh, you know, if you were a step slower, it could happen that fast. So you just wanna you just wanna, you know, be open minded going into the situation, not trying to put too much pressure on yourself. Which I don't do, but you know, at the end of the day, like you, you still gotta go out there and think and just try to be there a step early. If you're there a step early, everything will be fine. Tanya? Uh, I feel good. I'll be sore. I ain't gonna lie. I'll be sore. So, but uh, it's a good sore. 
you know, just being able to compete, just, you know, being able to get your juices going again, that competitive edge, that spirit. Um, but most important, just having fun. Having an opportunity to come out here and do what you love to do every day, you know, I'm blessed. Is that a Madden schedule you guys really Yeah, we got a Madden tournament going on. I'm 4-1-1, on by the way. Who's your one last team? I can't tell you that. But, uh, <laughs> yeah, I'm winning Super Bowl. You don't have the Eagles. I'm nah. You know, the Eagles, you know, when I first got the Eagles, when the game first came out, the rating was at 89, so they were trying to tell me they were too good. So I started playing with Kansas City. Kansas City offense is great. You know, you gotta, I got to work hard on the defense end. You know, their defense is not like the offense. So it balanced out the two. Hey, Dion, Melissa Rowland here. Um, <laughs> how you doing? Hey, so Frank has talked about how both you and JR came into this team and really added to the team's chemistry <clears> right away. Um, what's your approach as a new guy coming onto this team that already has great chemistry, trying to add to it? What's what, what's what's the move there? No, just be yourself. Uh, that's the that was the biggest thing for me, just being myself. Just trying to come in and not you know do too much or you know uh, just overthink you know the situation. At the end of the day, it's basketball, so I feel like coming into the situation, you know, I played with Brown before. You know, uh, like I said, I was with Phil. And, you know, I pretty much know how that thing go. When I was I was younger, too, so an uh, older Dion right now who's much more mature will understand. So, you know, it's a lot easier.